Hello, Malcolm Cabby here on a glorious sunny day on Friday. Yes, it's the Friday feeling. 20 to 12. Well, it's cold though. It is chilly. It's only 7 degrees. So, it's going to talk about today the uh, Swansea City game coming up at the Stadium of Light, 3 o'clock on Saturday. Yes, the team we never win. We just never seem to beat Swansea City. I don't know. Is it a, like a Coventry City? Is it a bogey team? I don't know. So it'd be interesting how the lads perform with um, Wheelie Beely, Wheelie Beal gone. The Wheelie Beal, Wheelie Beal, Wheelie Bean gone. Beal Beal. Um, are we expecting a bounce back with him now not? at the helm and Dodgy in charge um, I believe Clark's injured me personally I think it'll do him a rest it'll do him the world of good um, I would even give Bellingham a rest and I'll fetch him on as a sub it seemed to work for him last time um, just take me time here I've got road works on I wouldn't mess around here how should, how should Sunland prepare for the game I mean people say like the playoffs are done and dusted now forget them some people are saying we should still gun for the playoffs one win and the other teams above us lose you know back to a four point gap again but I think I think the fans really they just want to see a decent performance, didn't they? They just want to see a decent performance from the lads. And uh, I'd like us to see us beat Swansea, it's just been so long. If anybody knows when was the last time Sunderland beat Swansea in the league, let us know in the chat. Um, I mean, they are below us in the table, but that means absolutely nothing. I was going to give you some maybe news about the team or any injuries, but Sunderland haven't updated anything on their site yet. Um, so there's nothing going out as of yet what players are going to be ready what players are not ready um, I would guess that Dennis Serkin isn't ready I would guess that um, possible the new chap the signing Styles on loan is he going to be playing have he's been training and stuff so will he get a look in be good to see him get on um, but I think there'll be a bit of a lift at the stadium light on Saturday against them. It's, I just want to see us play with that flair that we used to have. And we've certainly disappeared when Bale was here. But you know, let's go for the win. <laughs> like I say, close the gap to four points. And you're knocking on the door again. But if we lose and the other teams extend, and there's a 10 point gap, it's going to like Vienna, as far as I'm concerned. You're not going to claw from 10 points. Like, it's just annoying, isn't it? It's the fact like we've slipped for further, further behind from six players. It's, I don't know. But we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. I mean, crowd wise. I don't think we'll be in the 40,000, I don't know, 38,000 perhaps, I'd say something like that. I would definitely not play Bird Store. As far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't play him for the rest of the bloody season, to be quite honest with you. He doesn't even know he's on the pitch. Absolutely not. So it looks like we're going to be without Clark and Roberts. Which might not be a bad thing, it might mean we'll start to come down the middle a bit more. Give us a bit more different style of playing might give a uh, Rusin more of a look in you know because we all know he's got the talent he, he can finish well but I just want to see a decent performance not that the last like the last two games we've witnessed where they've just their heads been buried in the ground they cannot be bothered Equas couldn't string a conk and never mind string a pass together but I just want to see what we're, what we're good what we can do Passing and moving and an exciting team to watch. I want to get that back. Whether Dodds is capable enough of doing it, 
I don't know. We'll, we'll soon we'll soon find out. He's been in charge of us before. And we didn't do too bad. And I believe we lost our couple of one one game when he was in charge. Um. So yeah, there we go. My prediction. What am I talking about? I'm gonna stick my neck out. I'm gonna go for a two nil Sunderland win because the, we've got to beat them at some point, surely, God. You know, Swansea City. It's they're just an awful club for Sunderland. So I've just got a funny feeling that we'll we'll do them our, and then we'll be starting to think possibly the playoffs are back on again. But saying that, because we've got some really big hard games coming up, haven't we? Like the. Southampton, the Leeds United, and I think is it Leicester or whatnot. So that's why we needed the points against Huddersfield Birmingham. But hey, oh, you know what we're like. We'll perform good against the decent teams. Never do against the bottom. But let's just see what happens, eh? So you can be able to catch me on the live doing the uninterrupted commentary. I won't be any, any yapping, you'll just hear the commentary uninterrupted. Um, I'll answer you on the chat as much as I can. But yeah, if anybody can let me know down below, when was the last time we actually beat Swansea City in the league? Okay, take care, have a good Friday afternoon, folks. See you later.